Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. Okay, so the next couple that I'm going to do, and I've had a few people request Oprah Winfrey and Stedman Graham. Uh, and it, actually, another comment just came in about Lady Gaga and uh, Brad... What's his last name? Where are we? Oops, 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 oops. Bradley Cooper. All right, maybe I'll do them next after Oprah Winfrey. And um, uh, I don't know if they're a hot topic. You know, they've been together forever. You know, since the, pretty much since, since uh, um, dinosaurs roamed the earth. Like, they've been together a very long time. So a lot of people know who Oprah is, and they know her longtime boyfriend. Um, so I just thought I would do a quick reading on them. They'd be a fun couple to do. Okay, so... Oprah Winfrey and Graham, these two connect on an intellectual level. Um, yes, there's like physical, you know, stuff there. Like I believe that there is chemistry then, but to her, it's more important to be mentally stimulated. So she's an Aquarius. I do know that. An Aquarius is um, swords, all right? Air sign, lots of thinking. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, stuck in the head, analyzers, and thinkers. She likes to learn and grow in that way. She likes books, you know, that everyone knows, right? So that's not something that like I pulled out of my ass or something like that, but um, she likes books. She likes to be analytical. She likes to be challenged mentally. And I believe Graham does that for her. Graham does not have one jealous bone in his body. He is secure as the man that he is. I don't know what he does for a living. I don't know if he's a businessman or something like that, but I feel in, in his own right, he is just as um, successful. Uh, but I don't like, a lot of men have, men have egos. All right, put it that way. I don't believe he has an ego that is so great that he allows it to ruin the relationship. He sees Oprah as a, as Oprah, the woman that he loves, and then Oprah, the star. So he ha he doesn't allow that to get to the relationship because I feel he is strong in his own way. Um, these two will be forever together. You know, um, I mean, they have already been together forever, right? Since like the 80s. So um, I, I, I just feel like this is a good, solid relationship. I feel like they can be apart for a very long time and it's not, they won't skip a beat. Where like for me, I like the man being around because I disconnect if the man is gone. You know, I don't like a man that works away, you know, for very, very long periods of time. That's not for me. Um, but I feel that these two get along very well, even like, so she's got it. Like, I know she's got a school in Africa. I don't know if she still does that, but I feel that even if she goes to Africa for three months or goes to Africa for two months, he is good where he is alone because they, they have that connection, that, that emotional connection and the intellectual connection. So, um, they're good. They're very solid and they're very secure and confident, both of them in their own right. So I I don't see any issues between these two people. He's a good guy. You know, he adores her. I feel he treats her very, very nicely and takes her, um, accepts her for who she is. He doesn't care how big she is, how small she is, how popular she is, how how much her star has risen. He doesn't care because he loves the woman that she is. And he's the same as her. He uh, is intellectual. This this is a, a, a relationship based on intellect. All right, that's where the stimulation is with intellect. I'm just gonna look him up really quickly to see what his birth date is. Sorry guys, I know I do this to you guys often. When is Stedman? Okay, he's March the 6th, 1951. So he is, um, what's his zodiac sign? He'd be very close. Birthday. 
I'm sure that's a Pisces. He's 67, my God. March 6th. March 6th, Zodiac. Zodiac. I think he's a Pisces. Yeah, he's definitely a Pisces. And I'm sure she's an Aquarius. Uh, Oprah. Winfrey. Zodiac. Aquarius. She is born January 29th. So she's definitely not on the cusp of um, uh, Aquarius or Capricorn. Okay. She is uh, definitely an Aquarius. She's an air sign. He's a Pisces. So he's very sensitive. But I feel like he must have some air sign in him because he, even though he's sensitive, I don't feel that he's so overly sensitive. Again, I'm going to go back to Justin Timberlake, not Timberlake, Justin Bieber, who is a Pisces, and he's so, so sensitive, bruising sensitive, where is Stedman, I feel, is an old soul. All right. So he's an old soul. He's wise. I believe he gives counsel to Oprah. If she's having issues, he's there. He's strong. He's strong in every way, emotionally, mentally, physically. He's wise. I want to say he's like the perfect guy and perfect for Oprah. He's not demanding, you know. Uh, so, I mean, like... I don't know what else to say, say about these two. Other than that, I feel these two flow very well together. And uh, I wouldn't have any complaints if I were her. And he doesn't have any complaints about her. He feels bad for her sometimes because I really feel that she beats up on herself. And he doesn't like it. And so I tr I think, like, I feel I get this vibration from him where you need, like, where he says you need to be kinder, your kinder to yourself. And I think she is learning and she's much older. She's getting older now. So she's understanding that, you know, you got to take, I got to take myself um, how I am. I think she used to be like that, but she's getting better, but she still falls back into that. And I feel that he lifts her up. He really lifts her up and he puts her on a pedestal. And that's really given her a lot of confidence. So a lot of men in that situation would be jealous. Like, you know, you look at Reese, Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Philippi. Um, when they were married, he couldn't take his wife's success. Stedman's okay with it. His ego doesn't overtake, um, overtake it. So I'll, I'll pull out my cards and see what the cards have to say. All right. What are the messages regarding Oprah and Stedman? Oprah. He's like one of a kind. He really is. Oprah and Stedman. Like he, I don't know what kind of family background he comes from, but he was raised to be a strong person and um, not to allow his, his ego to overtake him. <clears throat> and I will do Bradley Cooper next and Lady Gaga. All right, Bradley Cooper and Stedman. Oh, did I say Bradley Cooper and Stedman? <laughs> Stedman and Oprah. I got him on my mind. <laughs> Oprah and Sedman. <laughs> All right, let's see what comes up. All right. What are the messages regarding Oprah and Stedman? Oprah and Stedman. 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 It's like whatever she wants to do, he supports her. Well-rounded guy. Oprah and Stedman. Messages regarding Oprah and Stedman. No, you, you young kids out there probably don't care about them. But, <clears throat> all right, Oprah and Stedman. Here we have the Queen of Swords. There she is. 
All right, represented, uh, this is the Aquarius, Gemini or Libra female. She is very strong intellect, truth telling woman. All right, she usually will come after you. If you come after you, if she will attack or defend anybody that's coming after her, right? But this is her right there, the Aquarius woman, okay? You can see the blue that she's got here, this blue robe. In the her, in the different chakras, um, chakra, the blue chakra is the throat. So I feel she communicates well with him, okay? Blue, to me, represents the throat chakra, okay? All right, so here is the Nine of Pentacles. I asked about the two of them, and the Nine of Pentacles represents luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain, solo pleasures. It's the both of them. Both of them have this nine of pentacles. They're surrounded by luxury, self-sufficient. Sometimes they do things solo. She might go off on a trip without him. He might go by himself. But this is their life. You know, they are surrounded by their own success. This card talks about um, nothing being handed to you. All right, this card talks about someone being successful by their own hands, okay? All right, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is about good fortune between the two of them, all right? This is, this is um, lucky. It's a very, very smooth flowing relationship, very lucky between the two of them, okay? I don't know how they met or any of that stuff. Let's just see what, what does Oprah feel for Stedman. What does Oprah feel for Stedman? I don't think they'll ever get married. There's no there's no reason for it, you know. I think they're just happy to be living the way they're living. Oprah, and uh, what does Oprah feel for Stedman? <clears throat> what does Oprah feel for Stedman? I just also want to address the fact some people have said, can you put the, the camera on the cards? This camera here comes with my computer. I have an Apple. It's in the screen. I don't know how to do that. I have an iPad, um, but if I take the iPad out, all you see are the cards and you don't see me. So all I can say is I hope you guys trust me that I'm not plucking cards out uh, that I think that will, will work well for me. That's not how I operate. So um, I guess, you know, you just have to trust me that that I'm being honest here um, with the cards. Okay. All right. What does Oprah feel for Stedman? There's the Two of Cups. This is past life connection. And this is two people that um, are connected mind, body, and soul. That's exactly what this is. It's a really beautiful relationship. This is a romantic love partnership proposal, marriage. They're not going to have marriage. I don't feel like it, but these two are connected on every level. Then we have the four of wands. Four of wands, fours talk about stability, very stable relationship. Okay. And then we have the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is about um, mastering something. All right. This, these two work on this relationship together. Okay. She's working, she works on this relationship focuses on it. You can see how she's focusing on the pentacle. All right. And let's see what he feels for her. What does Stedman feel for Oprah? What does Stedman feel for Oprah? What does Stedman feel for Oprah?
I don't see a lot of passion in this relationship. It's not one of those pe- one where like they see each other, they must take all best must take their clothes off and you know um, you know be pa- there, I don't feel there's a ton of passion between these two people. I feel it's intellectual, you know. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen between them. You know, I'm just saying it's not what it's it's not that kind of a relationship where it's based on sex and chemistry and passion. They have to have some of it, but that's not what it's based on. Okay. What does Stedman feel for Oprah? We have the Temperance card. This card is about balance, harmony, moderation. This is a very nice relationship. She's dipping her toe in the water. You know, it's balanced. Um, uh, this is about someone not who's like falling head first. You know, he keeps everything in balance. He doesn't do rash things. He thinks things through before he makes decisions. Okay, in the relationship and with her. Then we have the Empress. This card talks about beauty abundance. He sees her as beautiful, abundant, Mother Earth. You know, um, uh, there's, this is about uh, uh, just a nice life with her. He feel, he finds life to be abundant with her. And then we have the Six of Cups, which is about friendship, nostalgia. This is another past life connection card. It's, again, these two people, these two children playing well together, boy and girl. Okay? All right. So that is the reading regarding Oprah and Stedman. Uh, again, if anybody's interested in getting a private reading from me, please email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video, and I will send you the information to get a reading if you like. Um, doing private personal readings, like relationship readings, is where um, I do my best work. Okay, because I can pick up on people's uh, emotions very quickly. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate all the comments. I really love you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Okay.